Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So if everything looks familiar, it's because you've probably seen the video before this video. And if you haven't seen that video, I will put it above. I attempted a cream on cream wash and go and I had to cut it sis. And I was like, we about to make another video out of this, honey. I need to do a bang and wash and go this time because I don't know, I just feel like I need to. If you did watch that video, you already know that I recently tried to do the ORS Manoi Oil Anti-Breakage Curl Perfecting Smoothie Cream along with the Texture ID Styling Cream. I tried to pair the two thinking that I would get like a, a nice moisturized, stretched, defined wash and go. But no that's just too moisturizing so everything was not looking right and i was like you know what i'm just gonna have to use a gel so i've already shampooed and conditioned my hair and i've already added this cream all in the shower so my hair is pretty much dripping wet right now and this product is already evenly distributed so i will not be applying any more of this product if you haven't tried this product i did get it off amazon and i will have my amazon link in the description bar for you guys to check it out i'm obsessed with it i seen it on the glam twins and fell in love and it's bomb so that's already on my hair and my hair is feeling just so silky so smooth so moisturized so i'm like might as well bust out my edge booster by style factor and this is in a blueberry scent and this is their Stronghold Style and Gel. If you guys haven't seen my reviews on this, I will put them up here so you guys can check it out. I am going to just be applying this. And I'm going to apply this because this is a heavy gel, but it can be drying. So I figured if I use it with the super moisturizing cream, hopefully we get some kind of dream happening. I am going to be going in with this. Smells delicious. And y'all, that's pretty much it. My hair is already ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply. I'm going to detangle with my tangle teaser. And then go ahead and go in with this gel. And I'm going to let you guys just listen to some music while I just go ahead and apply this product throughout my hair. So just stay tuned. this gel works really well with the shingling method I don't because I don't know if you guys have tried this gel it kind of like melts into it just melts when you put it on your hair and I felt like when I was shingling it I was like removing the product I feel like it wasn't like sticking to my hair so I stopped doing the shingling method up here and just kind of like clumped them a little like bigger and look at that. I'm like, I like that little clump. So I just wanted to let y'all know, just in case you guys are looking at this like, you done did about five different methods on your head. That's because I be trying to test it out, friend. I need to see what's going on. Because I saw it was not acting right with that shingler, honey. So I'm, I'm going to stop doing like small shingles and just like kind of separate my hair. So let me show you. With this little piece. So I'm going to go ahead and brush it out. Like that, so I don't have any tangles. Go in with this Style Factor Gel. Apply a generous amount of this. Get those ends. Go back in with this brush. Like that. Smooth it again. Add more if needed. And then just like separate them pretty big like don't even try to make them small just like big like kind of wherever you feel like it want to separate already and just look look at them curl just separate them don't even pull your hand down and they just fall 
right into place. Like, right into place. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I'm going to keep doing the rest of my head just like that. style factor gel and I don't know if you guys kind of saw in that clip but even when I start to try to do some coils up here it would it just got really frizzy up here like the coils or shingling I just feel like you gotta do raking with this gel and that's what I did when I first used it so I don't know but it does look really really good to me I, I like how it's looking so I am going to go ahead and sit under the dryer and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like. We're going to cross our fingers because it's a new combo. But as far as the combo go, I don't know if these products really go well together. You guys know I don't really necessarily like to use creams on my wash and goes. I'm just trying stuff out for y'all. I think the whiteness is going to go away and it's going to be just fine, but we're just going to have to see. So I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right, you guys, so I lied. It is actually the next day and my hair is completely dry. I sat under the dryer, my new dryer. <laughs> I sat under the dryer and then I kind of like, you know, fluffed it out, separated it, made it bigger just by like rubbing my hands through it to make it bigger and stuff. And this is what my hair is looking like. And I bet you guys are probably saying to yourself, oh my God, yes, it's so beautiful. And it is. I love it. It's it's beautiful. I love how it came out. Except it's snowing like a mug on everything. The flakes. It's just like Flake City. I don't know if you, you guys probably can't even see it, but it's here. Trust and believe. Sometimes when you guys kind of look at me, it might look like it's flakes. And sometimes it's just shine. A lot of my light are, is like bouncing off because my hair is so shiny. But this ain't this time, friend. It's flaky. My hair do not get flaky. And I and it's because I don't use like heavy creams like this. But this one just feels so good. So I want to use it. So I might have to use it for like a twist out or braid out or something. I don't know, y'all, but I don't like how it's like flaking with this gel. I I mean I just don't. And it flaked when I used it with the texture ID. It flaked too. So I'm just like, is it the product? flaking or what but this is what my hair looks like y'all I still think it's super freaking cute and I am going to wear my hair out like this you can't see flakes if you get in close but like Becca okay let me live until wash day let me live let me just rock this out because my curls is looking good and for those of you who don't think I have bad wash days just go ahead and watch that other video the one before this one because that was a bad wash day, okay? Y'all got to see fails, and this is what my hair is supposed to look like. This is how it's supposed to come out, like this. Beautiful. You can see the curls. Definition. All that. So, anyway, I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and supporting your girl. Bye.